What's your question, Tommy? Where you at your motivation guy? That's right, I am back. The one and only your friend, Keith Allen. The one who believes in you, the one who is rooting for you every single day not to give up on your dreams, not to give up on life, but to just keep pushing, to keep going through all the obstacles and the challenges. And sometimes it seems like there's mountains that's surrounding you. I've been there, but just keep your head up high. Keep going, keep being consistent, keep being faithful with everything that is in your life. And you're gonna see things really just start working out, okay? So I'm really excited because I'm back again to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to help you guys go to the next level in Fortnite. Who's ready for that? Okay, good. I'm glad. Fortnite is an ever-changing game that challenges players to keep up with the meta and adapt to new play styles. And so with Chapter 3 finally here, you need to find the best way to adjust to the new changes, right? Not only that, but if you want to play Fortnite professionally, you're going to need to do this frequently. So today, guys, we're going to need to teach you the best ways to adapt to a new season. And with these tips, you can carry them over every single time Fortnite has a shift in seasons. You guys ready for this? All right, well, it's time to get this bunch of crunch and let's get this going okay so after spending a whole new season fighting off cute monsters you know having access to sideways weaponry and even having four completely different shotguns to choose from fortnite is flipping the script and saying out with the old and in with the new with the change this time around being a complete overhaul as we enter chapter three you know there's just so much to adjust to and so the question you're going to be asking right now probably is like okay what's the best way to adjust to a new season after all with chapter one having 10 seasons of change and chapter two having eight total seasons it's always a good idea to know the best ways to adjust to new changes. So the one thing that you should know about the Fortnite community, guys, is that it never sleeps. Players are constantly testing the limits of their capabilities and trying out new ways to use items, equipment, and even builds. Because of this, the meta is always evolving, even the parts that don't see major change between seasons. And so with the new season and especially a new chapter like we have now, the community is going to be just more active trying to find these strategies. Remember, guys, the good old days of just riding a rocket and just using it to get up and close and personal to your opponents? That was back in the day before Shockwaves was a thing. How about the old shopping cart trick? You guys remember that? Where you could just get amazing speeds by just shotgunning in and just, you know, just get a smooth ride across the map. Those tricks predated the cars. So there is no progress without experimenting, right? You know, it's always good to see how other players are just reacting to the new changes since this can also provide some insight into how other players are gonna be adjusting their playstyles. You know, one example would be how chapter three adds web slinging as a mechanic and it just changes how players can traverse across POIs with elevations or how dynamic weather patterns can just suddenly change the situation for the better or the worse. The more you understand the meta, the better prepared you're gonna be for any situation during the high stake match. So with the new era of Fortnite and new weaponry, perhaps it's just time to get some help practicing your aim. Click out the link below and check out Aim Lab, okay? This is legit. This program can help you master your aiming mechanics in a variety of different and fully customizable scenarios and exercise routines. Not only that, but it also gives you the feedback you need to identify your shortcomings and what you're gonna need the most help with. So give it a try and thank us later. So after spending a whole new season playing with the same weapons and equipment, it can be easy to build habits, right? However, if a new season starts, it's often best to get out of your comfort zone and start using weapons that you're unfamiliar with. Perhaps some weapons, you know, carried over from last season and you feel inclined to use them. While this is often a nice advantage during a match when people are still unfamiliar with the current loot pool, it's gonna be best for you to start experimenting with the new weapons right from the start. Later on during the season, you can start incorporating the newer items with the familiar. So with web swinging, camping, and just sliding being added to the mix, it can be easy to forget at times when they've been just absent from previous installments. You know, when fishing first started, it could be easy to ignore the ripples in the water, right? However, once somebody figured out like that fish were pretty good consumables, suddenly fishing spots became an integral part of the player mindset. So get ahead and just start to force yourself to use these mechanics. All right, so you also don't want to spam the same POI from last season, especially now, man. With chapter three, we're seeing a complete overhaul on the island. So gone are the days of just Coral Castle and just Boney Burbs. Now we have the Daily Buggle and the Sanctuary. This can be a drastic change from the usual one or two POI that, you know, gets swapped out during a normal season change. However, just like the items, you can just stick with what seems familiar, man. Like you need to start landing in new places if you want to keep up with the other competitive players. And so that's why you always need to investigate POI with your own eyes. That's right, guys, it's time to get your hands dirty and start dropping and investigating new POIs. Like, while this task seems like it can be accomplished by watching videos, the truth is, man, you're never truly gonna understand a POI until you've landed there and experienced it for yourself. It's also really good that you build better game sense by just knowing a POI inside and out. The more familiar that you are with the insides of the building and the structures surrounding the area, the easier it's gonna be to navigate and just really not get lost. 
This is something just watching other people really play can't really teach you. Okay, so new POIs are just decorative, right? They serve as, you know, a competitive function that can change the flow of rotation and looting. This is why it's always important to really check for the chest, you know, just check for the chest numbers, you know, which shows the potential chest spawns in the area. It might take a few days for a complete and comprehensive chart to really surface, especially with so many new POIs entering the mix, but this is gonna help determine if a location is gonna be contested or not. Sometimes the best way to adjust to a new season is to take a preemptive strike and just start working on your shortcomings. A good place to start, guys, would be to VOD review your previous matches and just see where you're having trouble. If you keep missing shots, then try to find the root of the problem. Is it your sensitivity? Are you having trouble maybe keeping track of your opponent? How about your editing? You know, are you editing too slow? Like, do you slip up and just hit the wrong editing panels? These are the kind of things that you can learn from just looking over your mistakes. So one good place to start would be learning how to make smarter moves. You know, that process plays a huge role in how we adjust our skills during a match and a new season of Fortnite. You want to make sure that your head is completely in the game. You can become a smarter Fortnite player by knowing a wide range of editing techniques. This way you can always have a trick up your sleeve whenever the occasion arises. Now you're going to fall to a less during future fights since you won't get stuck trying to figure out what to do next. All right, so you also want to learn how to read your opponents as well by predicting their movement patterns and play styles and even how they're just, you know, trying to fight against you. You know, if you can just focus on eliminating your shortcomings early, you can spend more time playing arena and just getting accustomed to the brand new additions to the season. All right, guys, so another great way to adjust to any new changes to the game is simply by playing alongside a friend. Having a second mind going back and forth with you is going to allow you to see the game in ways you haven't seen before. You know, like the good old saying goes, man, two heads are better than one. And in Fortnite, this can help you work on your team building skills and really just even get a better grasp of your own shortcomings. So finding a good teammate is going to be vital for your future endeavors in the competitive scene. Aside from solo cash cups, man, there are also duo events and trio events, which are going to require you to find other players work with right because of this i mean it's always good to have a set roster of potential teammates that you have good synergy with and so with the new season this is going to also help you guys adjust since the two of you are going to be thinking competitively and giving each other insight on where is the best place for you to land and you know deciding roles and just working as a unit and so the best part about having a partner is that the two of you are going to just most likely be adjusting to the new season at the same time speaking of teaming up there are plenty of new items and features that are best experienced with more than one player on your squad with the new camp feature allowing you and your teammates to heal up and store weapons, it opens the door for plenty of new strategies such as, you know, where you want to set up or camp or, you know, what to store. Not only that, guys, even some of the healing items such as the chug barrel will emit a healing aura that restores shields to all teammates within the radius. These new items definitely promote teamwork and just camaraderie. Don't forget, guys, teams must pull their skills together to make it to the top. So don't forget to check out Aim Labs so you can improve your aim and become the MVP on the squad. All right, guys, so one of the most underrated things that you can do to prepare for a new season of Fortnite is simply taking a break from the game once the competitive season is ended. The time between the last tournament and the new season starting is a good time to really unwind and just focus on other things. And this is gonna help you prevent burnout, which is something that you don't want at the very start of the season, right? You want your mindset sharp, ready to absorb information and learn new tricks. And so if you're burnt out, then you're not gonna be able to feel like playing the game and you're not gonna see yourself really improve. However, with the change in chapter, playing the new update might actually be more beneficial than taking a break. Taking a break is fine when the changes between seasons is mostly going to be minor. It's easy to take in information when you have a good idea what 75% of the game is going to be like once you drop in again. However, with the complete overhaul that is about to happen, chapter three, I'm telling you right now, there are so many new things to learn that the game itself feels fresh, and even if you came in directly from chapter two, season eight. Fortunately, it makes the grind feel less tedious and just more fun since there are plenty of new things to really look at, such as dynamic weather, new forms of movement, and new biomes and POIs, and you know, even new equipment to really experiment with. But your crush saw me once again, this is your motivation guy. The one and only Keith Allen, the one who believes in you, the one who is rooting for you, the one who's cheering for you, the one who is your number one fan. That is right, I am your number one fan. So keep going, uh, walk with a smile on your face, you know, have positive energy, share with everyone around you, walk in love, you know, not hate, man. Spread light in this dark world. And remember, you are a leader, not a follower. So help make this world a better place one day at a time and one person at a time. Hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, hey, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.